All right, and welcome everybody to Minor League Esports here on this fine Saturday. My name is Sleeky. Joining with me today is Kigabyte, and we have got a lot of really good action coming up for you in this final week of the regular season. We absolutely do. We have an intra conference, or sorry, we have an intra division final here between the Flames and the Pandas in the Foundation League here. Pandas currently leading their division with a record of 25 and 20. The Flames. 21 and 24 currently so if they go 5-0 over the uh, over the pandas here they could in theory lead their division going in well ending the last week of the season however the pandas all they need to do is win one and they'll ensure to put the flames out of position for the number one however they are still tied up with the shadow and only one ahead of the sharks so some pretty uh, some pretty stiff competition in that tropic division yeah, no, a lot of fighting going a lot of different ways. And what really makes it interesting with games like this, kind of with what you were mentioning, is with all these different scenarios and everyone being so close, all the different ways that this series could go, whether it be a sweep or a 4-1 or even a 3-2 in favor of either team, really has a lot of impact on their table and the way that the rest of these teams are either going to be seeded or getting into the playoff itself. So it's going to be an interesting series all the way through, no matter what really is happening. Oh, yeah. The top three teams in this division are currently separated by only one win, with the top two being tied at 25. So without further ado, we're going to get into the game here. If you have to make a prediction right now, who's it going to be? Uh, if I had to say right now, I'm going to go with Pandas, but it's really so close, and we'll just have to see what happens. But kickoff underway here, and it's silent. Actually going to be winning it off of that kickoff as well, and things going to be underway as he looks to get that in mid. And it's Cardinal coming away with a good block. Yeah, the Flames definitely trying to get something going here, but the Pandas holding strong on that goal line, trying to get it out of here now. Carcel's there trying to prevent it from happening, sends it in, but Talco sends it right back out again. That's a good clear downfield from him as well. Silent able to get around to it. Cardinal now looking to get around. He gets the demo on Silent. Carshall is just sitting back a little bit, waiting to see what comes of this play. A little bit too far forward. Silen able to just get there in time, push it off the post, and comes away with the save. Cardinal just not able to come up with that one quickly either. That was a double commit and an open net for the Pandas, but they weren't able to come up with it quick enough. So we are having a Flames possession here. So they're going to try and drive the field, but it will get caught off by Panda at the midline. Pandas, or sorry, Cardinal at the midline. The Pandas now trying to keep it on that side. That they are, and this is a good push here from Carshall. And Silent coming up. Oh, he doesn't quite get the touch. That could leave a lot of open spaces. Taco's going to get the demo, and it will be Cardinal opening up the scoring for the Pandas just 70 seconds into the first game. Yeah, poorly built Taco. He does get a little touch here, but that demo was the more important part of that. Cardinal coming up right next to him, ready for that pass, but it didn't matter. He's going to dri drive it right into the open net. Pandas up 1-0. Kick off again here. Going to be going the way of the Pandas. Cardinal up for it. He's going to get a shot, but it's just wide. Taco has an opportunity. That's going to be on target. And just like that, they go up by two. Quick response off of this kickoff here. Cardinal ready for that one. Taco ready to come up for the pass again. Neither one of the Flames able to get back in time. So Pandas off the kickoff goal. Strong offense for them so far. That it is. And kick off again here. Going to be won by Silent, but it's going to fall straight down for Taco, who's going to get a shot early on. Carshall with the block. It's going to be in their corner now. Ooh, Silent doesn't get a touch. Cardinal, I think, realized that he was beat, but then wasn't prepared for the touch to not come through. But not in the best of positions for him. This Carshall is just going to drop that down for Taco now, who has an opportunity. Silent, though, misses it. Taco, that's going to roll right in off of his previous touch. Unfortunate miss by the uh, Flames there, and Pandas now up 3-0 with 3.17 remaining. Yeah, and this is just an unfortunate miss there from Silent Taco. Thankful there that he got the initial shot on target because the other defender essentially wasn't really there to make anything happen from it. We'll see if this quick 3-0 lead for the Pandas is going to be able to continue for them or if the Flames will be able to get something going. The Pandas really want this first win. They want to make sure that... Uh, the Flames are not going to be able to come back and, you know, take them off their top spot on the division. The Flames really want that. You know that. So they're going to be pushing hard. But that's going to go right over Carshall and Taco. Puts it in. 
Yeah, and this is just a very well put together play. Taco just beating that one defender. The last one not able to get enough height on it. He gets the final little touch there to sneak it into the bottom left, and it extends now the Pandas lead to four. It looks like they're really beginning to run away with this game one. Yeah, they definitely are. Cardinal, though, he's going to win this kickoff. He's going to try and flick it over one, but it is going to bounce off the backboard. Can they come up and get the score? Cardinal going to shoot it in, and he's going to score. And just another really well put together play from them. Cardinal gets a great flick. It catches Karshall completely off guard. He gets the follow up. Karshall hasn't had a chance to get set back on the line yet. A knock in. It's good. And still not even into halftime yet. And Panda's controlling a massive five goal lead. Yeah, 250 left. Like you said, now the Panda's looking to make it a 6 0 lead. The Karshall's there on the goal line to get it away. Now he's going to try and push it upfield. Running it along the wall, but it gets caught off by Taco. Taco looking to get something going, but Karshall gets the bump on him. Now Taco bumps out, silent. Karshall's already back for it though, so the Flames avoid another one. Yeah, and a lot of really back and forth play happening right now in the midfield. It looks like the Flames sort of just committing to trying to make something happen without giving up enough space, because it really has been them having that space either from not getting to the ball in time or not getting a touch when they need to. And that has been something the Pandas have been very deadly on capitalizing on so far. A bump there though, leaves the ball open. Silent gonna try and get there quickly. Cardinal not fully rotated around. He does get there in time for the save. But as time ticks down, it's gonna be the Flames who really need to pick up their pace here. Yeah, Karshall went back to get a hold of that one off of the pinch from Silent. Now Cardinal for the Pandas, trying to pass it in, but Karshall's gonna be able to cut it off. I got to midfield, Taco's gonna cut it off there. Flames looking to get something going with that one. Silent drops one in towards net. Cardinal there in the back to get a hold of that one. And the Flames again, double commit though. They end up bumping each other and Cardinal, he has an open opportunity here. It's gonna be really bad for the Flames if they don't get their defensive uh, rotations back together. And you know, one thing I'm seeing right now as well is the Pandas are playing this game with the very smart. That whole time, Taco is just waiting for Cardinal to get possession. He was sitting back in the midfield expecting and ready for anything to come flying his way they're not over committing they know they have a good lead and they're just willing to hold on to it and take advantage of situations as they come along instead of really forcing it and potentially opening themselves up to a counter yeah at, at this level of competition this is that's exactly what you want to do to be honest because you know the other team doesn't exactly have the greatest mechanical skill speed is not exactly the greatest factor here it might just be well not missing saves uh, and the other one is, um, you know, just waiting for the other team to make a mistake. Yeah, well, speed not really a factor in this game, but it was in that goal. Taco slotting it in at 113 kilometers an hour. Really good placement from his as well. Sometimes those open goals can be the hardest to score, but he does a great job of just sneaking it away. And now with the final minute counting down, the Flames really just have to look forward to the next game and really try and just sort of look at themselves and how they've done this game and think about what they need to change offensively and defensively to really get themselves back in the series. Yeah, because that's another one in for Cardinals. 7-0 for the Pandas so far, looking at potentially getting an eighth one on as well as they still have 33 seconds. But the Flames just don't look to have it all set on defense. They're just kind of constantly cutting each other off, breathing down, breathing down each other's necks, no spacing involved at all. So. They're gonna have to get, to get that together if they want to be, you know, if they want to breathe life into this series. That they are, but for this Panda team, it is an absolute confidence builder for them. You come into this game one, a lot of playoff potential seeding hopes on the line, and you end the first game with seven goals and time for them to score an eight, but really just an astounding showing, and it really comes off the back of just solid teamwork. I mean, if you look at the score, which should be up in just a few seconds, Taco and Cardinal very close on the score line. They're it's got the same number of shots, almost the same number of goals. Just really solid teamwork coming in overall for them. Yeah, exactly. The Pandas just see very, very good on defense, and we didn't really see them very much on defense, but their offense is where it really shined as they were able to, you know, keep the Flames pinned back in their own half for 90% of that game, I'd have to say. And the Flames just, they couldn't get the, the rotations correct on defense, a lot of mechanical errors as well, and generally just not as fast as they could have been or needed to be. So the Flames, if they can improve on those three areas, they're going to be a lot better off next game. Not saying it's going to be, you know, perfect for them. We haven't seen much of their offense yet. So 
we're going to have to see if they can actually get out of their half to create those offensive opportunities. Yeah, you know, you mentioned that that is a really crucial aspect of this is getting out of their own half. And it's something that we didn't really see them do a lot. They were losing those battles in the midfield. And when you're not winning the battle in the midfield, it's so difficult to gain and maintain possession of the ball, which is just critical for essentially moving it down in the other half of the field. Even if your defense is astounding, it's very difficult for teams to sort of withhold against that sort of consistent pressure. And that's what we were seeing from the Pandas all game long. Oh, yeah, exactly. Now we have the kickoff going in the Pandas' favor. Portly Taco was able to get a hold of that one, but not before it got pinched out by the Flames. Now Cardinal going to go up for this. Chips one in to the Flames' corner. Going to go up the wall. Cardinal looking to make something with it for his teammate, but not going to have anything on that. Instead, the Flames are going to be able to push this one out of the zone, and here we have some offense for them. Off the wall by Silent. Silent jumps Ooh. it around Cardinal, and that's a nice goal for Silent. What an um fantastically played solo effort that can be play of the week right there for foundation league silent doing such a good job of maintaining possession and getting it by and what a way to build immediate momentum for his team and they desperately needed it oh yeah nothing wrong with getting that momentum up like you said and you know just being able to dis display those high mechanical skill plays that that they have been struggling with although that might be a bad goal for them and oof Flames, mistake there on defense. Yeah, mistake here. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Silent thought he had to go for the ball. He inadvertently knocks his own teammate. It leads to them both being out of position, neither able to respond to the ensuing shot. And off the back of a really great solo effort, a breakdown on defense gets themselves back level. And you have to wonder what that's going to do to them mentally. You know, they those kind of mistakes really have a, have, really have a tendency to, you know, mess with you. But you just got to not change how you're playing. You got to get back into it. Keep the headspace up. If you can do that, you'll be in a good position. But that's really, really difficult at this level of play. Well, it's going to be Karshal who's looking to keep that in his own corner. Taco lurking around. Taco not going to find the touch. It's Silent who does go up and get the touch. Cardinal beating Silent. It's only Karshal back. He goes to jump for it. Gets the touchdown field. Karshal looking to beat Taco. A little bit of an interesting play there. Silent finds the ball coming towards him in the midfield. He just can't get it near target. Now Cardinal just trying to get it rounded up, and he lets Taco take over. Taco sends it in the midfield. Silent cuts it off there. Flames looking to get offense going again. Cardinal can't get that one in the corner. Silent went back for I think he was going to. Another miss there. This could be an open net, but poorly built Taco able to get it away. And now he's going to have to chase this one upfield with no boost. But no, there's Cardinal. He's going to be able to take it, push it into center. Silent misses that one. Cardinal's going to be able to come up and get the goal in the top shelf. And that is just an unfortunate play right there. Cardinal doing a good job of getting it in position. But for the Flames there, both players in a good position to get it out. They're just unable to find a touch. And Cardinal swift on the punish. They get the goal that puts them in the lead. And the Flames, after really starting off so strong in this game, since that little bump play that accidentally gave away a goal, it's been the Pandas who have looked just dominant on the field so far. Yeah, the Pandas, they've absolutely been. But that was a nice block by Silent, looking to get something going here. Going to try and drive it in, but blocked out by Cardinal, but then the rebound by Silent is driven in. The Flames bring it back to 2-2. And then must have heard me as well. Silent immediately, what is that? Gets the double off the defender, dunks it down and in. Silent just coming out with the solo plays to keep the flames alive. And it's working right now. And if they can keep this sort of momentum up, it's going to be difficult for the Pandas to match that. They've looked good so far. But when the flames have had opportunities to score, they've been absolutely deadly. Pandas had an opportunity there, but that's a double commit on offense. That might hurt them if the Flames can get this in time. But it does look like Cardinals be going to be the first one to get there, and he's going to drive it past one over the second one. Driving back is he. He's going to try and chip it in. No, misses the touch. Now trying to drive it into center. Silent misses it, but no one's there for the Pandas. When that ball's going to come right back out, Taco's not able to find the touch. It's Silent. He's going to beat Taco, too. Oh, not Taco. Cardinal, my bad. I saw Taco getting a demo. Gonna be silent again, trying to gain possession here. He doesn't get enough on it. Cardinal looking to break it out of his own half down the right side. Paco getting a great save that was sneaking in on an odd angle, but good job from him to recognize that and get the touch. 
Now Cardinal trying to move it back upfield. Almost got it around the second one, but not gonna happen. Silent cut it off. Silent now trying to drive it up. Gonna go off the backboard. Can he come up with the touch? Yes, he can. The Flames bring it back to a lead. And they do it with a hat trick. Silent over top of Taco. Tracks the ball so well. Gets the follow up off the backboard into dead center of goal. And Silent now not letting that lead the pandas tuck briefly there get to him he is bound and determined to keep this a competitive series and silent he is just like you said oh that was off the post almost happened there cardinal nice save for him though as he's gonna keep them to within one that was a goal going in all the way cardinal though on an opportunity he doesn't find it in the midfield it could be silent again he gets the touch to move it down the field taco trying to get there in time he's gonna follow the carshall but he doesn't get the touch Silent, who's forced to pick it up, but Cardinal there to break it down. Silent again, and it feels like we're saying his name so much right now. His speed on getting to these balls is so well. They can pick up the consistency on actually getting the touches that they really need to move it downfield. They can have another opportunity as this ball is just floating in empty space. That it is. The Pandas, though, going to be able to get back in time. Taco manages to come through and prevent that from a score. Now it's going to center again. Cardinal has the opportunity. He misses the touch, though. And that's going to cost him. Is the Flames going to have the opportunity to take it back upfield? Can Taco get to this? It doesn't go in, though. That's going to be just off to the left. And lucky for the Pandas, because there, there was no chance Taco was getting to that one. A little bit of trepidation there is Taco trying to get it into the midfield. That's a great block from Carshall. Silent racing to get there in time, but Cardinal will beat him to it. Taco rotated around into net. Ball coming his way. They're doubled up on that left side. Maybe Taco looking for it again. Silent gets a touch. It's Karshal who's back. Cardinal had an opportunity, but he doesn't get it on target. 18 seconds remaining. Panda's still down by one. If they can get a goal back here, they're going to have an opportunity to push it in overtime, but they're really going to need to pick it up now. Cardinal, he's going to put one towards net. Silent has to get a hold of that. Cardinal has the opportunity to put it in, but he's going to ship it off to the side. Can Taco keep it up in the air? The Flames do, but it's going to drop, and the Flames are going to take game number two and bring it back to a 1-1. Yeah, and what a response, really, from them, and especially from Silent. As we said, got the hat trick. Really just a dominant player on the field. Six shots, three goals, and two saves. He was really everywhere he needed to be. He was a constant pressure in the Pandas' half, and he ends up doing what needs to be done to secure them the win here and bringing them back level in this series. Yeah, it definitely did. And on the Panda side, though, there is definitely something they can improve on. That's getting those touches. Uh, they had a lot of missed touches, which is, you know, to be expected at this uh, at this level of competition. But at the same time, when it's hovering there right in front of net and you have an open goal, you got to get that touch. So if the Pandas can improve on that, they'll be able to bring this back and possibly get a 4-1. Well, series back a level again here. I'm not really sure just offhand how that affects the playoff picture or what these teams will be looking at. But either way, it makes for an entertaining series. We'll see if the Flames can continue to build on the momentum that we saw them really start to construct there in game two as we get underway here with game number three. Panda's going to have control of that kickoff. Chipped over to the side. Carcel's going to go up for it and miss. Cardinal now coming up, waiting for it. Knows he has time. Flames not challenging. Silent sticking in goal. Char Cardinal chips it right over him. And that is going to be the first goal for the Pandas. And Cardinal gets a really great hit off the corner. Carcel doesn't find the touch. It leaves Silent in a really awkward position where he can't do too much about it. So 15 seconds into game one, Cardinal putting the Pandas on top. We'll see what sort of response the Flames have. Well, they've got to have some kind of response here. Taco almost putting that in. McCarshall got the save. Cardinal coming up, but that's not going to happen either. Taco puts it up, looking for somebody. Cardinal can't come around, and Flames are going to be able to bat that one away. Silent takes it back upfield now. Silent looking to get this into the midfield. Poorly built tacos right on the corner. Silent looks to get a bump on him, but doesn't quite find it. It's Carshall. He's not able to get there in time. Silent not going to get that touch. It's right in front of goal. Cardinal's going to slot it in the bottom left. And it's Pandas who double their lead. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You got to hit these touches. Taco flicks it over one, gets bumped up by Carshall. That slows him down just enough for Cardinal to put it in the bottom left corner. Nice placement, good accuracy there. Keep that consistent and you'll be in a good position. Well, we'll see what position they're in here after that great kickoff. 
ball floating near the back wall. Simon able to get the clear off. Gonna go downfield. He gets it off the halfway line. That shot on target. Taco nice gets save. a backward save. Incredible effort from him, and they keep themselves in the two-goal lead. Now Cardinal, he had the opportunity, but he can't get can't quite get it around the Flames defender. Now it's back on the Flames side. Panda's looking to return it. Cardinal gonna go up the wall, but no silence there. He's gonna chip one towards net. Taco there to save it, and he will get the save into their corner. Now Cardinal gonna take it back upfield. And that's a second great save from Taco in a row. Really coming out this game defensively and doing what needs to be done to keep them in this lead. But Silent got to nice. find the hole. He gets it past it in, and they get within one. This is a really nice display of mechanical skill here for Silent. Most, most Foundation League players, if I had to say, could not pull something like that off. But Silent shows that he's not just any Foundation League player. Drags it over the last Panda defender. They're going to bring it back to one, but that's just it. They are still one back. It's going to be a great touch from Cardinal to get it away from Silent. Karshal trying to clear back into the midfield, but Silent not back yet. Taco has an opportunity, but he plays the ball a bit too quickly. He's actually able to get back to it in time. Karshal doesn't find the ball. Just like that, they go back up to a two-goal lead. Yeah, poorly built Taco. Puts this one off the wall. Nice, easy play. Reads it. Karshal isn't quite able to get there on time, and Taco... Gonna chip it over him into the net. Back up to a two goal lead for the Pandas. That kicked off. And it comes to the right side. Cardinal there to pick it up, but he gets bumped away. Silent gets a hit downfield. It's up in the air. Taco jumps forward. He finds the touch. Three minutes to go, and it's a two goal lead for the Pandas. And we'll see if they can keep a hold on it, but not for long as Silent just gonna bang that into the mid. And just like that, they're back within one again. This wasn't a great touch by Cardinal. The classic Foundation League mistake, trying to push it upfield with no momentum. Instead, it just ends up being a pass directly to Silent. What he could have done better there is put it into the corner and up around the wall. That would have at least saved the goal. Maybe not get it onto the other side, but it would have saved the goal. So here we go. The Flames back to one down, but that's almost going to go in. Silent able to get back in time, but the edge of my seat here yeah lots of back and forth as we close in onto the second half cardinal's gonna get a touch that puts it near the back wall silent following it but cardinal staying on top carshall so they get the best of hits cardinal's there that's gonna be in and it seems like the pandas love that two goal lead because they keep extending back to it they do, in fact. That's one of those things that I was talking about before. Karshal, unfortunately, tries to front flip into it, but it goes just a little bit above him. Gotta adjust for that height to be able to get that touch. Pick those up, get those consistent. You'll be gaining ranks in no time. Well, Taco doesn't find the touch. It's gonna be silent. He takes a pop shot, it comes off the back wall. He grabs the boost. Let's Cardinal take a touch first and then gets onto it. Taco, he gets blocked by silent. Cardinal's going to go up the side wall now, look to get that in the midfield, but it's Silent who's actually going to be there to pick it up. He's got one to beat, but he won't get it past. Hurt Karshal almost actually gets there in time, but he doesn't get it back either. And with time really beginning to tick down, you have to wonder if the fact that they need two goals is going to start to have an effect on them mentally and how they approach this game tactically. Yeah, when we're down below two, I always tell my teammates, I always say, all right, full aggro here. We're down by two with two left, and that's Ooh. almost a goal for Taco, though. Not quite getting it on target there, but yeah, at this point, if I'm the Flames, I'm saying go, 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 all offense, especially now that we're down by three with the shot by Taco. Yeah, and this comes off a great pass from Cardinal. Karchel wasn't able to get reset in time. Perfectly placed, though, from Taco. Puts it just behind him. Now with 90 seconds left to go, a three-goal lead. Things looking a little more comfortable now for the Panthers. Indeed. Cardinal now going to have the opportunity to go after that one, but Kershaw's going to be there. No, neither one's going to get the touch. And up comes the Flames, but no, it's going to be missed by Silent, too. Kershaw finally going to be able to come up and get a hold of it. Taco out the other way. Take it up the wall. Can he do anything with it from here? No, he's going to let it go for his teammate. Cardinal looking to get it in again. That's going to be beat by Karshal. They almost get locked in a rule one there. Silent staying on top, though. 
follows it off the back wall, or sidewall, I should say, with one minute to go. Silent gonna take a little shot, but it's slow. Taco able to respond. Taco gonna get it past Karshal. He's got one to beat. Gonna roll up off the wall. Silent actually doesn't find the touch. Taco, it's right in front. Cardinal just needs to get it on target, but he doesn't find the ball. And that's another one from Taco. That could have been better if he put it off to the side and said he put it right to Silent, who's gonna have the opportunity. Dribble it in, but Cardinal gets the save. Lots of back and forth action happening in this game right now. With only 30 seconds remaining and still a three goal lead, Panda's looking more and more likely to take this game to put themselves on series point in game four. But we'll see the flames they showed after the first game that they can respond to a loss. This one not nearly as severe as the first and a definite good chance for a comeback. Taco should have this and does. Yep, there it is. The Panda's gonna try and get as many in as they can before the next game. Demoralize the Flames as much as possible before you move on to that absolutely crucial match point that they are going to be on. If the Pandas can get a hold of that, they'll be in a really, really good position to not only win their division, but move into playoffs as well. Well, the final seconds counting down. Taco gonna take one final shot. Saved by Karshal, but it's not gonna matter. Panda's taken game number two, or game number three. I'm really good at math today. <laughs> and they set themselves up with win number two and a potential series victory if they can grab it here in game four. Yeah, and they're going to want to get this as hard as they can. So the Pandas, if you can get a hold of this one, you'll be in a really great position moving into playoffs. If you can get the one after that too, superb, even better. Because then that just makes it one more game difficult for your shadow, quite literally, in fact, coming up behind you. Yeah, and what, another thing that's also really important is if the Pandas are able to come away with a victory here in Game 4, they've really got to keep the pedal to the metal and get that final win in Game 5. Because as we do play all games in this five-game series here at MLE, each win matters, especially when we're looking at seeding for playoffs and who's going to be placed where. Yeah, indeed, and, you know, the Pandas can make a really good case for themselves to be first in that playoff position with a win here. Uh, well, maybe not first, but definitely not in a bad position because that Tropic division is really, really tight, and tighter than any of the other divisions we have in the Orange Conference. So the Pandas, if they can get this moving, they'll be in. Well, we'll see if they're able to make it happen here in game number four. Silent, Karshal, Taco, and Cardinal lined up to go at it again. As Taco gonna win the kickoff, it comes really close to going in off of it, just wide off the post, and that would have been a huge start for the Pandas. It would, in fact, have been, but unfortunately, it's not gonna be. Silent now gonna try and take this back. He's gonna get into center. Can Karshal come up and get a hold of that? No, Cardinal's gonna take it away again, driving it upfield, cuts it off with Silent as well. No. Taco going to come up and try and do something with it. Gets under it. Doesn't quite jump early enough. Now the Flames going to be able to take it back upfield. It's going to be silent with possession. Gets another touch off the back wall. Cardinal looking to make something happen, but a flip, but a miss from Karshal. Cardinal has it on top of his car. He gets it around, but it's wide off the initial angle. Silent doing a great job of staying in front of him. A follow-up shot in here. It comes off the post. Some really good opportunities coming from the Pandas. They just can't find the final bit for the execution. Although they are doing a really good job of cutting it off in midfield, as we see here. Cardinal with the opportunity, but not going to be able to get this fast shot that he needed. Silent going to be back in time. Now Silent's going to try and take it in. But poorly built Taco is going to be back for it. But Cardinal's going to end up chipping it away. Marshall ooh, gets bumped by Silent. That gives Cardinals the ball. That's going to be right in front of goal. Taco. Looking a bit too far back there, wasn't able to respond quickly. Now it's going to be silent on the counter, looking to get around, but he lands a bit oddly and essentially kills all of his momentum. Now it could be the Pandas on the counter as Taco stops that in his own half. He does, in fact, but he's going to manage to get it over by the miss from Karshal. But now Silent has it in his own corner, taking it back upfield. Silent is deadly on these one-man rushes. Cardinal, last man to beat. Can he get up and get a hold of it? No, we can't. Cardinal going to be able to send it away again. The Flames, are they going to be able to get a hold of it? No, Cardinal's going to... Oh, no, Karshal actually did manage to come back for it. Ooh, that ball coming straight down. Taco gets a touch. Silent was turned around. He couldn't get back to it in time. So it's going to be Cardinal now. He's up in the air, drops it down. What a goal from him. And it gives Pandas the lead in this game number four.
This is where the speed can get you the advantage in this foundation league. Cardinal over top of Carcel, who wasn't ready for him to take that line of play, and he's going to make sure they get a 1-0 lead just under three minutes remaining. And that, in this game, the goals seem to be significantly, significantly harder to come by. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw in that first game the Pandas scoring seven, but since then it's been very tight on both ways. Marshall not able to get around on that one. Going to be coming back on the midfield, but silent with the speed to get there again. Going to look to follow it off the side wall. He looks for the second off the backboard, but doesn't get it. Off the side wall, he misses again, and that's Taco. It's an open net, nothing but green. They just got to catch up to it, but the ball moving a bit, a little bit too quickly and is able to give enough time for the Flames to come back around. But it's not out of danger yet. The Pandas are gonna have the opportunity here to bring it back. Silent trying to put it over the net. He does, and he's gonna be able to follow this up. And now, finally, it's out of danger for the Flames. They're moving it downfield really well here. Silent, and to get it past one, nice. that's right on the line. Silent with that quick, unexpected touch. The Pandas had no idea that was coming. Silent boosts all the way down, great presence of mind to do that. Cardinal was just going for the ball, not where Silent was trying to put it. And as a result, Silent puts it right into net. He's going to tie it up 1-1. Well, tie game here, as you said, 2-0-2 to go. And it's the Flames scoring last that have the momentum. But Taco not letting it. It's going to go off Silent and in. What was that? Unfortunate own goal from Silent Taco. Up off the wall, that was almost in on its own merits, but not quite the right angle. Silent trying to get that out and away, but instead ends up putting it into his own net on the opposite corner. And we have a 2-1. An insane angle, it just finds its way in in the bottom right, eking over the line. Really unfortunate for the Flames, and it's gonna be another off the miss from Karshal. And in a time span of about 10 seconds, the Pandas go from being tied at one to up by two. Yeah, that was a really, really nice touch from Taco there. Nice placement into the opposite corner. Neither of the Flames were able to get to it. So 148 remaining. Pandas are up by two. This is a very familiar feeling. Cardinal has position, gets it past Karshal again. And extends it to a three goal lead now. And after the game was very close most of the way through, it seems the floodgates are opening up for the Pandas. Yeah, Karshal should have been the one to come out and make the challenge on that. Silent didn't need to challenge that any further. Just go back in the net and try and get a block if it comes down to it. But Karshal should have been the one in trying to take that 50-50. And as a result of that, Panda is now up by three, like you said. Cardinal with an opportunity, and he makes it up by four now. Yeah, the Flames is breaking down on defense entirely here. Cardinal recognizes that Karshal's not going to be able to get there. Karshal can't do anything with it. And Cardinal... Puts it into the top right, and I'll tell you what, Karshal and Cardinal are very... That's a tongue twister when you're saying it back-to-back. -back. That it is an off the kickoff. It's going to be Karshal who takes possession. Silent, a little bit too aggressive there. It's going to be Karshal who doesn't get the best of flips. He gets it away from himself. Cardinal has possession. He gets it past Silent. He needs to get around, but the ball, again, moving too quickly. He's still on top of it, though. It's falling right in front. Taco had an opportunity, but couldn't quite get it through. Yeah, I thought the uh, Flames player there was going to come up and get the save, but not going to happen. Instead, it goes back on the Flames side. Cardinal gets the cutoff from Silent. Going to bounce it off the backboard, looking for Taco. Karshal ends up getting it back out, and Cardinal tried to put it in off of his touch as well, but not going to happen. Instead, we're back on the Panda side. Flames with the opportunity. Cardinal's actually going to get there before anyone else, just storming downfield. He gets it past one. That's going to be an easy goal. Cardinal making it 6-1. Cardinal with the mind games. A little bit of a fake here to bait the challenge mm. out of Karshal like that. Cardinal with the mind games. Going to bring it back. We have an opportunity for Brazil as well. That we do. They need one more goal to punch their ticket. And it could happen here off of kickoff. But Karshal's going to beat them to it. Now, poorly built Paco. They come off of the back corner, looks to follow it up. A little bit of hesitation there. Silent's going to beat him to it. Silent gets the 50, it comes in mid, but Karshal all the way back in their own box. I know at this point, this game is essentially over. You've got to be more aggressive than that to get things back in your way for as far as momentum's concerned. So you still got a game five after this that you really need to try and win. 
to get this series as close as you possibly can. Yeah, at this point, the Flames know it's pretty much over for them on their season, but the Pandas know that if they can get this Game 5 done, they'll be in a very, very good position for kickoff, or sorry, for playoffs, and prevent their shadow from coming up behind them and taking it. So the Pandas are going to take the Series 3-2, but remember, here at MLE, we do play all five games, similar to baseball, if you want to call it that. So the Pandas now going to try and take it to a 4-1. What do you think the Flames are going to have to do to prevent that? I mean, the Flames, they really just got to be more aggressive when they get a hold of the ball. I'm seeing so often Silent or Karshal will gain possession. They'll have an opportunity unfold, but then one or the other will just not be anywhere in the same zip code to do anything with it. When you're leaving that much open space, especially in the midfield, it's so easy for the Pandas to regain control and try and score on a quick counter. And I understand that this is Foundation League, there's, it's a different level of play, but one of the things I really think the Flames need to focus on going into this next game is just trying to limit that space as much as possible. Don't let them have that sort of time and opportunity to get the ball around and have an opportunity to score on you. Yeah, no, because they've basically just been letting the Pandas do whatever they want on their on their half. So you got to have someone challenging it, but you got to challenge it smartly. You can't have someone coming back trying to challenge it while you have someone else in the goal. Use that rotation to your advantage. If you can keep those up, you have constant pressure all the time. That's why we use rotations in Rocket League. It's because of the pressure that it gives you. So Flames going to have to get used to that, to that method of defense. Well, off here is Cardinal who's going to miss an open goal. Carshall now, Silent, letting him take the possession, but Taco is going to beat him over to it. Taco in control. He's looking to either get a bump on the ball or Carshall, but he doesn't find either. Back in the midfield for Taco, he puts it off the side corner. Yeah, now Silent going to come up and try and take a hold of it, going to put it into the Pandas corner. Taco now trying to get a hold of that one again, but not going to happen. Cardinal sends it back out to his own corner. Silent trying to put it to center for his teammate. Taco going to get the challenge, but not great as it goes into his own corner, and that's going to be an opportunity for Karsh to come up and grab it again. But instead, Cardinal going to chip it right back over, and this one's dangerous for the Flames. Silent coming up, trying to do something with it. Can't do anything with it. Karsh instead gets the pinch, and that's going to be safe for now. But Taco, though, gonna get it all the way downfield off the side wall. Taco again, gonna be putting that into the midfield. Cardinal not quite gonna find what he needs on it. Silent. Taco feeding him to it. Karshal now getting the touch. Back and forth action happening so frequently right now. It's gonna be a bump. Cardinal gets the touch in. And the 3.36 to go. Pandas again taking the lead. Bandas indeed take the lead. Cardinal up over both of the Flames defenders as he chips that one into the top right corner. So Pandas now, another game where it's seeming like in the initial part of it, goals are gonna be hard to come by. So the Pandas off to a massive advantage. Marshall quick off of that though. Taco coming away with another huge save there. Keeps that ball from finding its way in. Marshall gets bumped away, but Silent quickly on top has an opportunity. Cardinal, though, gonna beat him to it. Marshall over top Taco. A great position for Silent, but again, Cardinal beating him to it. Really speedy plays coming from Cardinal right now on the defense. He's doing such a good job just being where he needs to be to keep this away as Taco coming nice away with save. another save. Dang. Yeah, Taco was perfectly positioned for that save. Read the touch from Silent almost perfectly keeps it out of the net, but this is going to be up to me for Taco. He's going to try and put it around one, but tries to put it too much to the side. And as a result, Panda's not going to have an opportunity for that one. Silent, though, opportunity score, Ooh. but the save by Cardinal on the goal line. That must have been a pixel away. My goodness, we saw one play of the week earlier that could be that one there. Cardinal saving it literal pixels away from going in. Keeps them in the lead. My goodness, just what an effort from him here in game five. In fact, now Silent puts it back into the Panda's side and flames all of the offense here, and he's going to manage to put it in over Cardinal. Yeah, and after that incredible save, they couldn't get reset quickly enough. Silent gets a wonderfully placed shot over Cardinal off the post and in. Unless he got enough height, there was no way he would have been able to rotate around and get that really well done from Silent and get some back level. Now here we go. Kickoff goes in the favor of the Pandas. Cardinal 
Trying to bring them back, and he will immediately off the pinch. That's a big pod goal right there for Cardinal. Gets it up in the air, hits it off, gets the dunk off the bar. Cardinal, my man, that guy had a family. For real, that was a dirty, dirty dunk. Sometimes you just have to follow it in and that'll work out for you. Now Taco has an opportunity to do something with this, gets it over Silent. Gonna try and bring it back over to the flame side. Miss there from the flame defender is gonna go into center, but Silent comes back around for it just in time and he's gonna have the opportunity to send it back out as well. Taco gets a touch on it, but on the, on the roll, so wasn't exactly prepared for that one. Taco gets the save again. Silent going up for it. Cardinals back, but the demo from Karshal ensures that that's not, not going to be an open net goal. Instead, he's going to send it back out to center. Woo. That's from Taco. Silent going to have control of this one, and it's out of danger for the Flames for now. Was that Karshal going up for a air dribble attempt there? It was really well played from him off the wall. It comes back down again. Cardinal not able to slot it through. Silent. Dropping it down, looks to follow it up. Gets it over top, Cardinal. It's coming off the corner. He picks up the boost. Silent, oh, he gives up on it far too early. Cardinal is able to get around. Silent had Karish or Karshal coming up the midfield. He puts that off the back wall. It's a very good opportunity for them to score. But now it's them doubled up on the left side with Taco playing last man back. Now they need a last man back here. Taco, though, will be that last man back, and he saves that one from what was almost certainly going to be a goal. Now the Flames going to try and get something going again. Taco saves it out. Less than a minute left here, folks. Panda's trying to hold out here, but the Flames are doing a really good job of, put, of pitting them down in their own zone. Silent takes away from Cardinal again. Taco's the last man back. It's going to go off the wall, and he's going to manage to chip it away. Not out of danger yet as both the Flames Warriors are back, but that's going to go into net over both of them is Taco. That's a yikes. Some double commit right there. It's another instance of a team bump that puts them both out of position. No one able to rotate around. And just like that, the Pandas might have secured their... 4-1 victory here in game five. 25 seconds and two goals, not impossible, but man, that has got to plate the Flames off. Yeah, it's absolutely going to. And now that puts the Pandas just that little bit more ahead of the Shadow, who are tied with them for the division lead. So the Shadow are gonna have to win this week 4-1 in order to take, or 5-0, excuse me, in order to take that division lead back. Well, the last 17 seconds are going to be coming off the clock here, but the Pandas at this point have surely snuffed out the Flames. It's another team bump from them. Silence able to get back around, but that has been what has been so deadly for them and has been those sorts of miscommunication plays that has led to the Pandas taking away this series 4-1. The Flames kept close most of the time, but they just could never really keep up with the Pandas at the end of the games. Yeah, and you know the Pandas want that second game back. They know they could have won it, but the, they gave the, the Flames just a little bit too much respect, and uh, the Flames took that away, but you can't give respect to, to the Flames like that, and look what happened when they didn't. The Pandas were all over that ball on all sides of the field, and uh, they came out with the 4-1, so they're going to have a really, really big advantage over the Shadow, who are facing their division rivals as well this week. So, that'll be all from this Foundation League matchup between the Pandas and the Flames tonight, folks. Don't go anywhere, though. We have two more matchups on the way. Our next one is going to be a Champ League matchup between the Blizzard and Eclipse. And wrapping it back up, I will be back with you for a Premier League matchup later between the Pirates and the Rhinos. Don't go anywhere. And stay with us right now as well, because don't forget, we've got Play of the Week coming up right now. back at midfield we're gonna have one more scoring opportunity for the flames can this ball stay up we'll see that ball's on oh. target it is in zero second goal trying to score with any time remaining he is on the sidewall but he is low boost he's gonna get another touch oh papa oh coming God. in there is technically a chance i wasn't gonna harp on the scores I'm gonna harp on the Knights uh, at, at this point for the rest of the what night. What a dirty.